Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? What time did you wake up? 6.45. 6.45. Was, was it us? <laughs> nah, was it nah. us that woke you up? No, nah, that's my that's my normal time, so I got enough time to get ready and go grab some, some lunch. I mean, some breakfast do, before. Do you hear us? Yeah. Are, yeah. are you the one? <laughs> are you the complainer? Did you did you turn us in? Is that is that you? <laughs> nah, I'm not much of a complainer. I try to stay away from complaining. You can <laughs> hear us in the morning? Uh, I can, yeah. You can? Yeah. Oh, are you, like, right behind us over here? Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. What right. time do you start noticing it? Uh... It's not not until I'm up. Like, okay. Oh, okay. Up. okay. So good, we're not good, good, waking good. you up. No, no, All right. We didn't no, want to wake you up. Nah. Is okay. this a thing that's discussed amongst the guys, like the loud radio people? No. Nah, okay. Nah. I hear I hear it. I hear the music, but it's not. Okay. I'm, so I'm, it's not room. waking me up. Is okay. when I'm, it's I hear it when I get up. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, yeah. someone ratted us out, yeah. or they're making <laughs> it up. They threatened to move us on the other side of the end zone because we're being too loud in the morning. And they said, word got it to McCarthy, so now we have to get Mike who's going to sit down with us Thursday. We have him on every Friday, uh, but he's going to sit down with us Thursday, and we got to figure out whether he's really mad at us. <laughs> so we're going to say J-Ron has our back. Is that fine with you? Hey, man, it's cool with me. It's okay. Cool with me. Okay. All right, so one of the things that uh, we know on the beat, and, and I'm sure you're, you're aware of the reputation, is that in the locker room, it's going to be that safety corner of the locker room that is going to have the most intense debates when we're in there. Whether it could be about sports or life or music or whatever else. If you hear there's a little bit of some back and forth, we generally know, all right, there, there's probably Israel McQuamu's over there. J-Ron's maybe mixing it up a little bit. What's the uh, what's the most intense locker debate y'all have had back there in that corner? Uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of them. Uh, we've had... Uh, the most intense probably will have to be between between me and is has to be hands down the Jordan Lebron debate. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wait, which side do you come down on? I come down on the Jordan side. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Very nice. How old are you? Twenty nine. Okay. All right. So you remember Mike? Yeah. We were talking yeah. to Gilmore the other day. And the guys, you know, he had a, the MJ gear on and Jordan Brand, and the guys were like, how old was he when Mike was doing his thing? And I guess I just lose track of it, Yeah, you know, in terms of watching in the prime. So, yeah, I mean, I think we're all Mike guys, right? Mike won. Yeah, of course. Mike now, won. now, who's the best, like, are you the best debater in there? If y'all were going to have a sports talk show, like, who do you think does a great job of debating and who, who usually loses? I'm probably the best. I, I'm, the guys would probably they would even say guys, it. Yeah, yeah, the guys would probably vote me to be. Okay. If everybody had a, a debater, <laughs> uh -huh. every team had a debater. I'm pretty sure the guys would. Okay. Would. Is that something you'd be interested like in doing after playing any media or no? Yeah, that's 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 my thing. I like. I just wanna I wanna continue to build around the game when I'm done. Okay. When I'm done playing the game. Analysts like studio stuff. Yeah. Who said they were yeah. interested yesterday? Or CD. oh, CD. 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 Yeah. CD was interested. I also asked him. X's and O's. What do you do? You you watch it then, right? The coverage, some of the stuff. Yeah. When mm -hmm. they're breaking it down, X's and O's wise, they're usually pretty good. Like they're getting that right. Yeah. They're accurate with breaking some, it. Some down. some of some of it is is certain things that, I mean, you wouldn't know unless you're actually in in it. Like, unless you're sitting mm -hmm. in that meeting room and yeah, some things like that. But for the majority of it, like. Just the the broad spectrum of it, we're pretty much getting it right. Who's someone that's like really blown you away, X's and O's wise? Where you're like, all right, that person, whether it's a coach or a player, you're like, they they might be special, or they 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 know everything. Uh, Rex Rex is pretty good. Rex is pretty good. Uh, Rex Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Rex Ryan. Uh. And, uh, is there a quarterback where you're like, he knows everything we're doing. He's picking us up. <laughs> oh, yes. When it comes to, like, if I'm sitting down watching the game and Romo's doing the game, mm. Romo's pretty spot on yeah. with, a lot, with a lot of things. It's like the game, we who did we play? Uh, the Vikings. And he was like, uh, he green dogged it. I mean, I was covering the tight end, but I blitzed because my tight end blocked. And it's like, you know those types of things when you've been in this game. <clears throat> he was like. 
yeah, he's, he's, he has a tight end, but he's blitzed because it's tight end block, and it was it's spot on. I remember, right. you know, you, you mentioned there that there are some things you're just not going to know unless you're in it. And I remember last year, I think it was after the Green Bay game, uh, you had talked to us that week, and we're calling out some things on the defense that we didn't even have an awareness were, were an issue. And you mm -hmm. were you were kind of saying, no, look, this is something that we really need to clean up, something that needs to get better. As, as a guy who is a, a big leader in the locker room and everybody, you know, talks to you or, or talks about you as being one of the big leaders in the locker room, how do you handle that approach in terms of using the media, in terms of when to try and motivate guys with your messaging and, and, and how to take that hand of, of approaching challenging guys? Uh, it's just, it's, you kind of understand what point, what point you got your, your team is in. Like, you know, at, at that point, uh, you know, that wasn't our first, our first rodeo with, with mm -hmm. getting gas with the run and, and just, just being in a position where we could have won the game, but ultimately we lost the game. So it was just something that I felt like, you know, like I just, I needed to say, so the guys knew, like knew that like all the, the rah, rah and the talk is, mm -hmm. It's not getting us anywhere, and it was really time to time to start doing doing it. Like we can't just keep talking about it. Does the offense look any different to you this year? New system, new scheme, whatever coordinator. Uh, yeah, they definitely do to me. It's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of different things. That's, that's you almost happening. gave it to us. <laughs> he almost he almost gave of, us the scheme. It's a lot of it's a lot of different things that's happening now that that weren't happening when I first got here. And uh. I think the number one thing, though, is 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 the the, the way Dak has been with with the guys and uh, all off season. Those guys have been together, uh, learning the playbook, learning the things that Dak needs from them, and what he wants them to be. And I think right now, just their chemistry is 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 on another level with how they approached it in the off season. So when we finally got here, you could tell that those guys actually put the work in. It doesn't look like guys that only that's only been together for just OTAs. They mm -hmm. actually was putting that work in outside of the building when, whenever they had a chance. CD was talking to us, J-Ron Curse here on the fans, CD was talking to us about even more DAC control. Him, how does he strike you or come off from an X's and O's standpoint in terms of figuring everything out? Because RJ has always said, why doesn't every quarterback just have full control? They're the one on the field. They're the ones seeing it. Uh, how much faith uh, should we have in Dak in figuring it all out and seeing everything? Uh, Dak is a very a very smart quarterback, uh, and just not even he's just a he's just a football guy. He's just a guy that that truly loves being around the game, and, and you can tell. I picked that up this, the moment I met Dak and was just around Dak for a week, just understanding that you know football is something that he really he really enjoys and he knows a lot about it. So uh, you know. If, if Dak had control of the offense, I'm pretty sure that we'll be in good hands just because of the way that he approaches the game and the way that he handles his business throughout the week. Are they throwing at Gilmore out here early on? We're not seeing a ton of Stephon work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you got a, a defensive player of the year. Uh, it's, you know, if he, he's in good coverage, majority of the time, the mm -hmm. ball's not going that way. So he still, but, He's still got it? Yeah, he's definitely still got it. He's one of the... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I was given that leader, that leader leadership role. You know, being one of the older guys on the back end, and so but having him, having him in is 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 is, is tremendous. Uh, a guy that's going on 12 years in this league, a guy that's been to the highest of highs in this league. Uh, it's great to have him to really, for me personally, just to see. You know, this is this is this is a this is a a veteran like a, a real veteran that that approaches this business the right way uh it's not too often you get around guys that's one defensive player of the year uh hopefully we'll get we'll get one next year we'll get michael michael get michael goes and get his <laughs> but you know for right now you know it's just just having a, a older guy that's one that and being around him is tremendous what differences have you noticed in micah's game as he's always trying to improve something in the off season uh I if, haven't, if any. I haven't, I haven't noticed any difference in his game, but I noticed the difference in his mentality and how he's approaching everything. Cause he's he's coming out and it's it's like y'all y'all can't y'all can't do nothing with me. All right. And it's like he's 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 saying that he's letting them know like you can't do anything with me. And then he's going out there and he's doing it. Uh, before he was just lined up. He's just but he's letting he's letting it be known mm -hmm. that you know I'm the 
I'm, I'm, the alpha. I'm potentially the baddest, mm-hmm. the baddest motherfucker walking. <laughs> well, so, that. All right. And he's, and he's, 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 st- he's standing on that, and that's the that's the difference I see. He's he's having that, like I just can't be I can't be messed with attitude. You you mentioned I know a couple different times last season how much the way 2021 had ended against San Francisco was really bitter for you personally, mm-hmm. and I know after the Tampa game you're in the locker and saying, hey, this is a chance for us to right our wrongs. You were really excited about that. Hey, has that the way last season ended? Has that has that game weighed on you the same way, or, or, or do you view it with a different eye than you did at the end of the previous year? Uh, I view it with a different eye uh, for the simple fact that uh, just my my first year, my first year here, uh, you know, after after that after that loss, uh, thought we thought we truly had a chance to to go to go be a, a, a Super Bowl contending mm-hmm. team. Uh, you know, it just weighed a little more on me. Uh, being that that was my that was my first time uh you know i played on i played on some 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 good defenses and some some playoff teams uh played in the nfc championship game uh you know but my role was limited so actually being being out there and you know my first playoff game where you know i'm actually uh it's just weighing on me a little different but uh last year uh i kind of got over that probably like a week and you know i was just ready to, to get back to work i was rehabbing i was rehabbing for my shoulder surgery and uh just was ready to get back to work and i know i'll have another opportunity i knew we'll have another chance as a team and uh now that we're here we're just putting the work in and you know that's that's the number one that's the number one thing we're trying to we're trying to get done uh we're not aiming just to make the playoffs we're not aiming just to get to the nfc championship uh, until we hit our actual goal, then you know we haven't had success yet. I want to ask you this as a hitter because I've always I've always wondered how does the lack of hitting out here compared to what we're used to, you know, ten fifteen years ago, how how does that get y'all's bodies ready for seventeen games of it during the regular season? Do you feel equipped to do it when week one comes around or when week four comes around based upon the the way the rules are with lack of hitting in camp? Uh, for me, uh, you know, it's, as long as long as I hit, as long as I get some contact before, before, before that week one, you know, I'm good. We have the preseason, so hopefully we can we can get out there and maybe get a series in or two, and uh, just feel, you know, feel our cleats in the ground, feel our shoulder pads, the shoulder pads, and make some make some real contact to the ground. Uh, but out here, you know, it's just I feel like. To me, I tell guys all the time. To me, it's just a want to tackling is all mm-hmm. all want to. Like, if you want to tackle, you can tackle. Anybody can. If you can move yeah. and get to yeah. get to a guy, you can make a tackle. You know, it's just all about want to. So, you know, regardless on if we didn't play a single a single uh never made a single single tackle uh last year until we played Tom Brady, but you know, tackling is a want to. So if you want to make a tackle. You, you, you're going to get a job. You know now. how many fake Twitter accounts are out here of you? No, I did don't you get know. off Twitter? I got yeah, I got off. I got off Twitter. Why? I got off Twitter. Camp camp rolling around. I like to just oh mm. yeah. LeBron mode. Yes. yes. Oh wait, Mike mode. <laughs> yeah. Mike Jay, mode. <laughs> the, the leader of the Dallas Cowboys defense, J. Ron Kerr, sitting down with us in the K Post roofing and waterproofing hot seat. Thank you so much. Stay healthy, and we look forward to having you on every year. Thank you guys. Appreciate you.